there's some major differences um, on the campus physically, but then academically and just overall historically. Um, this school has really grown since I went in the 60s. I came as a sophomore in the fall of 67 and uh, we had basically three buildings, uh, 100, the 200 and the 300. 400 was kind of there, but you got to remember this place was the Benita High School campus that was condemned and left to just sit out in the sun and until 18 Sacred Heart Fathers came over from Ireland and they were get commissioned to start this school. I think I was the seventh graduating class. You know, it, it, I coached a lot, over oh, 30 years I coached uh, football, soccer, and golf. And before any contest started, I kind of almost thought we were cheating because we were able to take a knee and pray. And that makes us wait. I had colleagues in uh, every sport I've coached and uh, from all over the state that talked about how they were a little bit envious of, you know, of our brotherhood, like I, I was saying. Uh, but that comes from being able to to just join together and pray. And that, that really makes us stand out, I think. So, first question. In your opinion, what is one thing that makes Damien stand out from other schools? I think, uh, for me, what makes us stand out from the rest um, isn't necessarily our academics, which are phenomenal. Um, it's it's the faith tradition that we bring to the to the guys that come here, uh, and and our willingness to accept them no matter where they're from, whether they're Christian, Muslim, Jewish, um, we still incorporate a faith life into everything that we do. I think that's what really sets us apart. Okay. Well. Um the spiritual side of things obviously is a big part of our program here at Damien and uh, having since 1967 we've named the school after one of our own, Father Damien, uh, who's now uh, St. Damien. Um, spirituality has always been an essential part of, of the program, not just uh, in the school um, classes in ethics or religion, theology, whatever name that has been used along the way, um, but also like the, the part of the lived experience of uh, campus life, school life in general, as well could also, always has been a hope that the uh, students as they graduate from here and go on into, you know, engaging in life beyond these halls, uh, that will carry part of, of the, the spirit, the spirituality that We've been practicing and teaching, and you know, so uh, the big thing that goes way back to the mid seventies was the adding of addition of uh, the Kairos program. It's, it's proved itself to be a very very important thing, and it's not something that's ever been required of the students. Uh, it's really sold itself, and uh, it's had a very big impact. Like students. Former students would come back years after having graduated and, and say, "What name one or two or three of the highlights of your being at Damien?" They would say, "The Kairos was a high point, it made a big impact on me as an individual person." You know, so it was. It's proven itself to be a very, very um, personally enriching uh, experience. And long, long after they've graduated, you know that they remember and they've been strengthened by it, blessed by it enriched by it, you know, so that's always good to remember and to see, you know, that this was something good that we did and, and have as a part of the, this experience at Damien, you know. It's hard to talk about Damien experience without including Kairos, you know.